everybody. So I am making gingerbread houses, but they're not houses, they're barns and chicken coops. So I thought, well, I got an hour to kill because it's gonna take forever. I've actually already done all of the chicken coops. They turned out absolutely adorable. Um, in the past, when, I, when we do our gingerbread contest, because we're doing that tonight, in the past, we, um, I normally get the ones that are already done up and together. But when I went to Tractor Supply and I found these chicken coops, good morning, I found these chicken coops and these um, barns, I thought this would be adorable. Well, I wasn't thinking that I had to put them together. And so I've been trying really hard to get things done this week because we have our gingerbread contest tonight. Hello, everybody. And then we have a party tomorrow. And then Gideon is actually flying home like right now. Like I pick him up in a couple hours. And so I'm gonna show you your first live, yay. So here is the chicken coops. It actually didn't take me as long as I thought it was gonna take me. So um, it was pretty easy. I mean, it's super cute. It's kind of open in the back. And look at this is like the little, the little runway, little dock coming off the chicken coop. Um, thank you so much. You guys are very, very kind. Good morning, good morning. So I'm putting together um, uh, gingerbread barns and I already did the chicken coops, which I'll show you guys when I get done. So here's the chicken coop. Super cute, super cute. Hey Google, play Christmas radio. Isn't that cute? Yeah, isn't that cute? And I think these were like $10 or $12. Um, and I know a lot of the houses in Marquette, they're the same. You can get those like ones that are put together for like, I think $9, which I usually do, but I thought, man, we're chicken farmers. Um, lower volume, please. Hey Google, turn the volume down, please. I don't know if it responds to please, but, um, and so I thought, you know, we're a chicken farm, we're a farm. Why not just get these? And so I was, I have been putting this off all week, you guys, like, I'm like, oh, I gotta do it. Cause I have one, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. I have 13 chicken coops and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven barns. And so I have been putting it off all week. Cause I'm like, I gotta get these done. And you know, they have to dry because the kids are gonna be decorating them. Um, and so I did make a video of our, me and Joshi went and did the haul for, to get all the decorations for the gingerbread. And then I finished it up today. So. Um, I kind of laid it out so you guys can see it. So you'll see that in my gingerbread grocery haul with Joshua. You'll see it in that video. But um, yeah. And then just like a little update on our cookbook. So um, next month we turn in our 100%. And the cover is almost done. I believe, according to the publisher, that it's going to be on order um, pre-sale in March. And I did do um, hardback because I love hardback. I know, isn't this cute? It's, it's a lot bigger than I thought, and so I'll show you the barn. So I did 13 of these, and it was like lightning. Like it was like lightning. Happy Friday day. Hello, sweet friend. Well, I think I'm gonna do some kind of um, like special thing too, because I'm, I get, oh, I get um, like I think 20 of them for free, so I thought it'd be fun to do something with that. So this is the silo. And it has like a little thing so you can stand. And then here's the barn. So the barn is red velvet. I keep looking at myself. Stop looking at yourself, Heather. Okay, so here's the barn. I know they look a little rough, but the kids got decorated, right? And so then you just put the silo next to it. And then, cute, hey? And I'll show you guys the box. So this one I just did because I wanted to show you guys one before I did it. So let me just um, show you the box. Hold on a second. I'm assuming I'm gonna need this towel because it's pretty messy. All right. So I'm trying to think of a, I didn't realize how small these were and everybody wants to be partners. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have them pair up and do, I have like 20 kids so far coming and I got another call saying, can so-and-so come? So I might have over 20 children, but it's, it's fun. They love it, they look forward to it every year. This year I'm making them wear PJs. It's, I'm probably gonna get pizzas tonight. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, so I think I'm gonna have them do pairs for the co-op, for the chicken coop. And then I think I'm gonna go have them go into like fours to do the barn because that chicken coop's gonna take two seconds. But anyway, here is, will, you, will your mac and cheese recipe be in there? Ooh, 
I not my cast iron one. Oh, I can't remember. I don't know, but but it's gonna be the first of many. We're gonna be doing a holiday one at where we share games and appetizers and different foods we eat on the holidays, like my like my menu for Thanksgiving and for Christmas. And then we're gonna be doing a summer one where it's sharing canning recipes, um, grilling more grilling recipes, um, different uh, recipes we use with garden vegetables, um, like my pantry, how I organize my pantry. So they're gonna be like really fun cookbooks, not just like you open it and it's just recipes. Like there's gonna be stories in it and just like the, um, thank you, coffee and Christmas. Um, just like, I should show you this one. It says, naughty list survivor. <laughs> um, and so that my cookbook that we're putting out this time is like a biography slash cookbook. So it's gonna be telling our story, our journey, but then bringing in the different meals and just how I, as a mother and a wife, um, how I progressed with my cooking and changed up things and had to, you know, because, you know, we had kids coming our home through foster care that had sensitivities, um, foods they couldn't eat, um, foods that they just really have never tried before. So it was quite the challenge to be a foster parent for 12 years and try to make food for picky eaters. Um, I don't remember not one child throwing up. Like my daughter Haley threw up potatoes and I'm like, potatoes? She literally threw up on in the table, at the table. And I was like, I go, you okay? She goes, eh, they're so gross. I said, honey, it's just potatoes. <laughs> um, yeah. Lots of kids have thrown up in my, uh, at my house coming into foster care. But so here is what it looks like right here. You can get it at Tractor Supply in the chicken coops. I should get the box of the chicken coop to show you. So, um, so see, it's going to look better <laughs> than what you just seen. And then it comes with the animals and this is their silo. So I'm going to keep a box of, um, the barn and I'm going to keep one chicken coop. Let me go grab the chicken coop box. Hold on just a sec. You guys get to look at my decorations for a second. Okay, I had to grab a box for the, okay, and so here is the chicken coop. Isn't that cute? And so I think the barn was like 14 and the chicken coop was like nine or, or 11 or something. And so this came with two little chickens and then it has a little runway. And so I'm gonna keep these boxes out just to kind of give them in, some inspiration. And so for those of you who just dropped, just uh, got on here, I'll show you again. This is the chicken coops. I did 13 chicken coops this morning. I didn't get to eat breakfast, but I did my chicken coops. Um, and so they're just going to have to make it look nice. That's what it is. If you want to make money, you got to make it look nice. And so my friend, we just recently did a, um, a day in Green Bay where we went to this holidays, like Circus Dole, me and my ladies in my Bible study, but they're also my friends. And I took my daughters too. And so when we went to Perkins, which I love for breakfast, she got hot water with lemon. And I go, oh, that sounds good. And so me and, um, Two other people did it, and now I'm addicted to it. Why do you have pictures of shoes on your on your cobread? Oh, on my cupboards? You mean from before? Is that what you mean? Because you must mean my um, cabinets. Um, so they are. So when my kids were little, my mother-in-law made um, she made those shoes and put verses on them to, so my kids could read the verses when they grabbed out like cereal bowls. And it, it's about where to take your feet, where not to take your feet, what to do with your feet, where your feet should go. So it's all verses on your path, like finding the right path, making sure to do things that are right, go to places that are right. So that's, if that's what you mean uh, about the, the cupboards. So you did two gingerbread houses, two chicken coops and a dog house. Was the dog house at um, Tractor Supply too? Because I think I've seen the dog houses. So we're gonna put one together together. How many horses do you guys have? So we actually have a stallion and we have a quarter horse that Isabella owns. Her name is Poppy. And then we also have, um, let's see, we have Eva, Whitley, Darianne. Um, Eva, Whitley, Darianne. Oh, um, Daisy Duke, 
da not Darianne, Daisy Duke. So it'd be, sorry about that. It's Daisy Duke, Whitley, Eva. We have another one too. I think we have five. I'm missing two. One is a baby of Daisy Duke and we called her. So we have this thing. So like when our horses are, have a baby, like so Daisy Duke starts with a D. Then the next horse has to start with a D. And if the, if the mare has an L name like Lady, then her mare, her baby has to be with an L. So Daisy Duke just recently had a baby last year and it would have been a D name. I don't know, but we have five mares, one stallion, one quarter horse. So we have seven horses. Good morning. Cranberry macadamia nut cookies. I never made them because I was so tired. I have all the stuff for them. I'm actually going to do some baking. I know that we were gonna get together and do that and I just, I was tired after doing the the um, cleaning because I've had three, well this will be party number three this week at our house and I just was tired and so I just didn't do it. But I have everything for it. I'm also gonna be making a a, a take on fruitcake um, and I just made the funniest thing, you guys. So I made a, good morning. I know, they're coming. I swear, they're coming. Those macadamia nut cranberry cheesecake cookies are coming, I swear. So we're just gonna, oh wait, I messed up again. So the directions say to put the walls inside and that's not how it goes. Because the roof doesn't stay on. And these suckers have to be on the outside. So we're gonna get this together. I'm going to make these with you guys. And uh, I gotta remind myself next year to not do this. Just buy the houses. But they're so stinking cute. I mean, the barns and the chicken coops, how cute can you get? Um, I don't know if you can eat them. My kids never eat them. They just like to have fun with them. I don't know if they've ever eaten them actually. Those chicken coops though, they were like lightning. I got those done in a heartbeat and they come with icing and I don't like the icing it comes with. I feel like it's too hard and it's like, like chunky. So I just picked up my own icing and um, right here, a dollar something, 70. And I actually did 13 chicken coops and it only took me almost like two containers to do the chicken coops. All right. Yeah, this is like, I don't know why people love this because I don't love building chicken, or I don't love building these. All right. So Gideon's on his way home. Super excited about that. They do eat them. My, even when my kids were little, they never ate them. I don't know. I got Christmas music going. So I had to, I was up till 1.30 last night and um, wrapping presents. I had actually finished my present, wrapping my presents. And um, we have two people that are gonna be joining us opening presents on Christmas day. So I had to run back to the store and um, pick up a stocking and some stocking stuffers because it's gonna be, there we go. It's gonna be uh, more than just the 10 of us this year. It's gonna be 12 of us. So I had to order stockings really fast. I don't know if I'm doing too much icing here, but I, this is just not my thing. This is just not my thing. I'll do it because I love my kids, but it's just not my thing. I feel like this wall is falling back. There we go. <laughs> um, I kind of feel like a two-year-old, honestly. So this is supposed to go like this. Let me lower this a little bit. All right, there we go. You guys are like, wow, she struggles. I do, I do, I struggle. I'm super excited to see my boy though. I think once it dries, it'll be fine. Come on, come on. There we go. 
I'm sorry I haven't been on live lately. It has just been a very, very hectic couple weeks. And um, like yesterday, I spent the whole day cleaning. If you guys follow us on Facebook, I posted some pictures. I spent the whole day literally cleaning the basement because my boys like to lift weights and it was like bad. All right. I think I'm good. I don't know what I'm doing really. Am I good? I think I'm good. The other one turned out way better than this. I don't know what's going on. All right. Okay, there we go. Bon number two. Christmas music. Can you guys hear the Christmas music? I try not to turn it up too loud. All right, so here's number two. Oh, and I didn't get to show you guys everything it comes with. So let me scoot this guy over here. Hopefully it doesn't fall. Looks like garbage. I feel like the wall's falling. Okay, hold on a second. So this one is a, I wonder if I accidentally did the, no, I did it right. I feel like that one's gonna fall. Good morning. I'm trying to make a barn. I don't know if it's gonna hold up. Okay, I don't know. If it falls, I'll fix it. I'll just won't touch it no more. And then a little silo. Here, I'll show you guys my chicken coop again, just in case some people weren't on. Thank you. It's supposed to look like this when it's decorated. Do you guys see that? Cute, hey? It, you know what? I get it. Like, I, I spent three hours yesterday downstairs. My goal was to get on here live with you guys, do all these chicken, you know, the chicken coops in the barns. And I went downstairs and I was like, oh my goodness. Like, I feel like a bomb has literally hit my house. And I don't like it because I'm very organized. I like things in their places. I don't, just knowing there's clutter around my house like really drives me absolutely crazy. And so I am seriously struggling with it. But, oh, you know what? I think I did mess it up. See, look at, these are thinner. Okay, that was my screw up. I don't know if I'm gonna change it. So um, I think I'm gonna, so these are the walls and the thinner, see how there's a, a thinner, so this is the roof. I put the roof on the walls. I'm gonna fix that. So that's why it didn't work. Nice. Well, we have um, we have a party, uh, our um, gingerbread house parties tonight. I'm gonna fix that, you guys. Okay. I'm gonna have to take it completely apart. I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. Oh, that's the long one. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to take these off. <laughs> Crap. I can't figure out which is which. Okay, these are the fat ones. Oh my God. Okay, this is the wall here. Okay. You guys are like, she's a mess. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay, there we go. I figured it out, you guys. Let me put a little bit more ice in here. Oh, it's stained. Okay, cool, it's stained. And then this is the other one. This is thin, okay. I don't know. Actually, the thin ones Let's look, let's look. Okay, hold on a second, okay. Okay, so the roof pieces, oh, see it wasn't connected. The roof pieces are smaller and I think they messed up because the pieces are exactly the same. So this is a roof piece and this, 
No, okay. So this is, this is, oh my goodness. I'm gonna throw this in the garbage. Okay, hold on. Oh. Figured it out. So these longer ones go inside. What a mess. You don't know why you're here? <laughs> Cause you wanna see me absolutely. Okay. I should have just kept it cause I have no idea what I'm doing. Can you see a difference in these? Those look the same. I think they screwed up on this one because look at there's one long piece. It's not me, you guys. They screwed up. That they they gave me three of the same pieces. Okay. I'm just gonna go back. This poor one is gonna be a, just demolished. Izzy can she can fix this because she's a genius. So they gave me three wall pieces and two one roof piece. That's what happened. <laughs> this poor thing is, ah. Okay. Well, whoever gets this one better decorate it super good because uh, they're gonna have lots of issues. Yeah, see, they gave me three wall pieces, suckas. This is why I don't put together gingerbread houses. What an absolute disaster. Yeah, see that? That's the problem right there. They gave me three, so I didn't even have to take it apart because it wasn't me. Well, Credola. Okay. So this one's gonna have to move down a little bit. You know what, I'm gonna have to just do one roof on this one. They screwed up on my barn. So we'll just do this. There, how about that? Yeah, it doesn't have a, so I have one extra piece here. All right. Whoever gets this one, they're in big trouble. All right, there we go. <laughs> this poor house. I'm gonna move you because I'm afraid that if I don't move you, you are gonna be a, a disaster. I gotta bring that wall out. The wall's starting to fall over. There we go. Since we've no place to go. There we go. What are those signs? I have a wall that's about to collapse here. Oh, there we go. Just push it all back. Okay, this poor thing. Oh my goodness, I am so sorry. This is dumb. Okay, just say, leave it alone, Heather. Just, I would just give up and walk away. Yes, this is a mess. I'm gonna try and make it look a little decent. Whoever gets, they're all not gonna avoid, they're gonna avoid this one. They're gonna be like, what in the world happened, mom? Sorry, it's not me. It's the kit, it's the kit. Okay, I just gotta go. Look at my hands are a mess. Well, this worked out good. This is a silo. All right, we're just gonna bring it over here and I'm gonna get rid of it. There we go. Should I even bother? Hold please. Everything is sticking. Okay. Clean this up. Goodness sakes. What a disaster that was. It's bad. It looks really bad. Well, I could never be in a gingerbread contest because I wouldn't do good at all. Hello, 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 hot glue gun. Well, you know what, you know, they don't eat them, so that's a good idea, actually. 
using a hot glue gun to put together your gingerbread houses because they, my kids don't eat them. They eat the candy off of them. They just don't eat the gingerbread. Hello, hello, Argentina. Okay, so this one actually has the right pieces. So this one's gonna go a lot better. And you'll see this time with this one that it's not me. It says not to me. Okay. So, outside. All right. Can you guys see? This one's going to go a lot better. I can feel it. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Can you feel it? There we go. See, they're not even on the bottom. So like the bottoms are rounded and so it doesn't sit very well on the... There we go. Okay. Fresh start. I mean, I had a chicken coop that doesn't have like the little walkways. Whoever gets that one, the little, um, the chicken run, they're going to have to like create one. But I know if my Isabella had it, she is so creative. All right. So you guys see my cooking skills and now you're seeing my gingerbread house skills. And they are not good. Gingerbread house gone wrong. <laughs> okay, so the thicker ones go first. Yeah, that's way better. <laughs> See, doesn't that look better? See, it's not me. It's not me. Yeah, it has an icing that it comes with, but it was so clumpy. Thank you. And then, gotta make room for all these. I'm gonna have to put more icing in my bag. Just gonna fill in these holes. Yeah, if my kids can do magic with these after how I've just destroyed them. Now I gotta do the silo. The silos are doing really well. There. Okay. I'm gonna put this one in front of the one I did really bad. There we go. <laughs> Stupid gingerbread houses. Okay, gotta take a break for my tea. Hello, England, how are you? I think my next trip, I have a friend that is from Germany. She was born in Germany. She lives here in the States. And um, she and one of my friends, my good friend, her sister, um, she also lives in Germany, of course. Well, they did because they're sisters, that makes sense. And so they're trying to plan a trip back and I said, if you go back, because they grew up there and they came over here because um, my one friend married um, a guy in the military. So she came back to the States. And then my other friend, her sister came because 
um, it was just the two of them, and they want, you know, they, they, they were all the family they had, and, and so they're thinking about going back, and I said, if you go back to Germany, I definitely want to come, so I told my husband, I said, hey, if my friend goes to Germany, like, I'm going to go, he's like, oh, okay, because, I mean, they used to live there, so they kind of know, you know, their way around, and so this is a little trick for you guys, when you're doing your icing, get your, uh, your piping bag and stick it into a cup, and then fill it with your spoon, and then just put it in your piping bag. It's a lot easier than holding your piping bag in your hand. There we go. All right. I got four more left to do. I'm doing really good. I'm gonna have icing all over me. I gotta go pick Gideon up at the airport. And then I gotta get pizzas ordered. He had to get up really early, so I'm assuming he's not gonna do much. And uh, his buddies that he went to school with, they're anxious to see him too. It's gonna be a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun with our gingerbread contest, a lot. We've been doing this for, oh my goodness. Sheesh, when the kids were little, we as, as soon as they knew what gingerbread, oh, these are sticking. Please don't break. Oh, that stinks. As, oh, see now these, see this is how it's supposed to come. So you know that this is the roof. And of course it, the last one didn't come like that, so I was very, very confused. I don't think I'm gonna separate them until I get the walls on. Okay, now let's see. What am I gonna do to get this off? Oh, that really stinks, hey? I don't wanna be patching walls. Oh, yes. Ta-da! Okay. Aw, thank you so much. She says that she's new to my channel and she is loving it. Thank you, I appreciate it. Right. Well, I appreciate your support. And we are making gingerbread houses. So I swear, you guys, I am definitely going to be making those cookies. I have everything for them. I'm making a really, really cool um, fruit cake, but it's different. It's gonna be different than what you're used to. And it's gonna be for people who really don't like fruit cake, but they're gonna really like this. Oh my goodness, what a mess. I just don't know if I'm gonna do this next year. I think I'm gonna go back to my pre-made gingerbread houses. I mean, even though this is super cute, I love how they did the whole barn, you know, the barn as a red velvet. I think that's super cool, but man, this is a pain. The chicken coops are easier than this. All right, I'm just gonna hold it for a second. I think my icing is a little soft. That could be the problem too. There we go. Okay. Have a wonderful weekend, Leanne. Have fun with your friends. So tonight is our big party, and tomorrow we're having a white elephant party. Gideon says he has to do some shopping, so I'm assuming we're gonna be doing some Christmas shopping for him. Um, I was up very late last night because I had to uh, wrap presents. I was actually done shopping, but we have a couple people that are gonna be having Christmas with us this year. So me and Brendan got online and ordered stockings for them. Um, we get them at the Pottery Barn Kids. They are the cutest stockings ever, oh my goodness. So adorable. And so we got a couple stockings and so I was up late last night. I just wasn't tired, like I haven't had coffee in a couple days and I just really, really wasn't tired and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get some things done because I knew I had to do this and I knew Gideon was on his way. And so I thought, you know what? I know I'm gonna be rushing tomorrow. I really wanted to come on here and visit with you guys. And um, it just worked out. There we go. I got all my kids' favorite candy for the gingerbread con. See, now this one worked out perfect because the barn comes, comes like this, but those other ones didn't work out so perfect. So I don't really know what the deal is. My mom growing up had a lot of traditions for us and I have pretty much kept those 
traditions and added my own traditions. Like the gingerbread house contest, like the decorating the tree or getting the tree on Thanksgiving and um, me putting lights on it, then it's all decorating. Like watching our first show we usually watch is Elf. Will we do that when we do our green beans? When we... See, now that's not too bad. But you know, I have icing for them and piping bags so they can actually pipe over it to make it look nice. All right. Now this one worked out great. You can kind of see like how it goes. So that one worked out really good. All right. I think the silo is my favorite because all I have to do is um, just do this and it's done. And done. Silo, bam. Okay, let's get, oh, I want to show you guys what it came with. Let me grab my icing so I can push my gingerbread houses back. Oh, that's a great idea. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember that. So, by, so um, April, is it April that said this? It is, um, oh my goodness, it goes so fast. I think it was April. I don't, I don't really know now. No, Elizabeth. So Elizabeth said that buying the icing in the store definitely works better. And if you add powdered sugar to it and maybe a little corn syrup, it helps it be thicker. Um, I'm gonna try that next year because if I do this, if I do this, because um, I tried to do the icing that came with it and it was like watery, like it was clumpy and watery and it wasn't smooth at all. And I know they say that you're, no, honey, I know that they say, it's so nice outside, my animals just, well, it's raining right now, but it's really nice outside. Clover, no ma'am. It's so warm outside. We might not have a white Christmas this year because of, and I'm sure this is everywhere. Like, it, my husband's like, I'm so glad that we don't have any snow. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I said, are you kidding me? We gotta have snow. He's like, no, we don't have to have snow. I'm like, man. All right. I'm gonna try and make this one super nice. Clover, no ma'am. It is so nice outside, but my animals just, oh, I did that backwards. Okay, hold on a second. So this one got, has to go this way. Ooh, I think I did a lot of them backwards. So it makes sense to do, man, no matter how hard I'm focused, it's just not working. You know what I need? I need a bunch of ladies to come over and do this with me and have coffee. That would be so fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> just to have like a, you guys all bring yours for your kids. I'll have mine for my kids. And we can all do um, our gingerbread houses for our kids. We can have coffee together and we can complain about them and we can laugh because our hands are complete icing and it looks like a two-year-old did them. We could do that together. Wouldn't that be fun? Gingerbread, con gingerbread making contest at he or a gingerbread house making for kids. Heather's house next year. <laughs> So I don't know if any of you guys know who the Midwestern mom is. Does any of you guys know who the Midwestern mom is? I actually follow her. She is also a Midwestern like me. And she is actually taking, she's going to Iceland in July. And she is having people come with her. That'd be so fun, Emma. Like it would, I really would love to come see you. That would be a blast to come to England. That is one of the places that I would like to come to. I know, wouldn't that be awesome? Um, my parents actually went to England and they said it was the best place they've ever been to and they wanted to go back. And of course my dad passed away, but they loved it. And then one of my friends, um, oh, somebody's here. Then one of my, uh, our boy's friends, he went to England on a mission trip and loved it. He fell in love with it. He said he wants to go back. So everywhere I've heard, England is pretty nice. I got a really cool um, wooden hand carved 
Like it's round like this, you hang it on the wall and it's like the castle, it's one of the castles, it's so beautiful. No, I need to, I need to come to Europe. I need to do a Europe tour, it'd be so fun. Just like she's doing, I guess it's only like $3,200 to go to Iceland with her. I thought, man, wouldn't that be fun? But I have a graduation coming up. I have a, a daughter getting married. It'd be so fun. I would love to do that. It's cold outside. So very nice. My mother will start to... See, now this one didn't work either. They really need to work on their pieces. I'm gonna complain. See, this one ain't gonna go in either. Oh, well, I'm just gonna overlap it. There's nothing I can do about it. Ooh, it's falling apart. Yeah, these pieces just, I, I almost need to like, I need to trim them up or something. Oh my goodness, ah! This is stupid. This is a train wreck. This is an absolute train wreck. Baby, it's cold outside. Yeah, I don't know. If you guys have any advice, I'd love to, sh I would love it. I feel like I'm in preschool right now and the teacher's trying to help me Put, a, put something together for my family. Well, whoever watches this video, they're gonna be like, wow, this is gonna give you anxiety, I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay. I'm never gonna get these again. These are horrible. They're super cute, but look at their disaster. The kids are gonna laugh when they come in, like, whoa. And I think if I trim it, all it's gonna do is just break, so it's not gonna work. You guys, just get a coffee and watch the show. See, look, it doesn't fit. Look at that. You know what, I'm just gonna just do it. I'm just gonna go with it. It's just gonna have a steeple on top. The kids can decorate it. There we go. I don't know what else to do, it's stupid. Well, I know how to do this one, so let's just do this. Thank you, Jesus, I only have two more. I about did that wrong. There we go. Okay. I don't know. I do not, only two more. You guys are like, please get this over. I think the roof pieces might be the pieces for the side. Well, look it. The side pieces and the roof pieces are connected. See the small one is the roof, roof, and then the side. So maybe they put the directions wrong on the box? I don't know. You guys are like, this is so hard to watch. Worst live ever. <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, I'm gonna get on live here with my friends. It's gonna be so relaxing. We're gonna be drinking coffee, putting gingerbread houses together. And uh, it's fun to watch though. Okay, oh my goodness. Might be a faulty, but I think I have a, a lot of faulty. See, like these are connected. So this is supposed to be the roof. But then you know what? It, see, now I have an extra piece. That's weird. They gave me an extra piece in this one. So I have three sides. Look at I have two sides. Oh no, I don't, I don't, okay. So these are, so these are shorter. So that's for the roof. I don't know, I don't know. To make, maybe push them down to make, the, okay, so maybe push them down to make an overhang so the top fits. <laughs> oh good, so somebody else, look at, Yes, yeah, smash the like button because, you know, we want YouTube to push this video. 
so they can all be tortured like us. Okay. I feel like this is gonna be good. Can you feel it? Okay, so I'm gonna get these two ready. Okay, so, so far, so good. This one's looking good. So far, so good. I'm glad I'm not the only one that went live trying to put together these houses or this barn. Our barn is huge and it didn't take this much effort to build it. <laughs> well, it kind of did, but you know, I'm just making it funny. Well, I'm telling you, these, the chicken coops were like lightning. Maybe if I had gotten there earlier, I could have got all chicken coops. Okay. So phase one, done. My hands are a mess and I'm not literally liking this. Okay, so you're thinking, so if I put this here, let's just do a, oh yeah, so I think you're right. I think it has to go out a little bit more. We're doing a dry run here. Okay, so I think you're right. I think I'm gonna have to do an overhang on it. That looked pretty professional, didn't it? All right. Okay, I'm taking your advice right now. You're a genius. You get bonus points. So it looks like it's gonna still overlap a little bit, but I think I'm okay. It's not a big deal. That's not too bad, right? All right, let's do this. Finally, on my last one, I'm figuring it out, hey? So that, that actually worked out pretty good. Here's the little... So it kind of stayed together, hey? Look, I don't want to lift it up, but that doesn't look too bad. I mean, there's that hole right there. I could fill it in with some icing. Well, it's really, I'll show you guys what it came with too. Okay, so let me move my drink out of the way and my icing bags. Ooh, that's gonna stick. I had to bring my spongy over because there's so much icing on these counters. Okay, here we go. Okay, one more, you guys. One more. Uno momento. That one looked better, didn't it? Yeah, it looked a lot better. Ooh, I shouldn't be using my, I'm trying to cut this with my knife and then trying to so I'm assuming this must be like a chocolate red velvet or something, I'm assuming, unless it's just regular, they, they made like a red velvet gingerbread, I don't know. It's pretty cool though. The colors are really cool. Okay. Our very last one. So tomorrow probably you'll see the video of me and Joshi shopping for everything. And then, um, let's see, tomorrow's Saturday. Uh, and then on Sunday, wait, tomorrow, so Monday, you'll see the actual, like, the competition for the kids. And they get prizes, awards. Yeah, I, that's what I did with the, this one. I gave it a little overhang and it worked better. These other two are disasters, though. The pe There's two of them that are really bad. Oh, my goodness.
Well, you know what? That's their job. Their job is to make it look nice. Thank you very much. She says way less painful on that one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna need a little bit more icing, but not much. Well, I tell you, I have like, like texture issues, like sensory, not sensory issues, but like I'm really struggling right now with my hands having all this icing on them. Like I'm really struggling. I don't like the feel of it. That's why I wear socks all the time. I do wear like no shoes outside, but I have to wear socks in the house and shoes because I just don't like the feel on my feet. Like I just have like really weird like feet feeling issues. All right, that should be enough. So yeah, so if you're when you're doing your icing, put it into a glass and then fold over the top over the glass. It makes it a lot easier to fill your icing bag. All right, so these are the roof because see they're skinnier. See the difference there? And then this is supposed to be the part that goes like over. So those are out of the way because I don't want to make that mistake. And then, oh my goodness. Okay. My dogs are crazy. Okay. So Haley has to deliver eggs today, so I think she's getting all those ready and Joshie's helping her. Maybe I need to do double icing. Maybe that's why they're not staying. I do double icing. Why not? Why not? Who oh, almost did it backwards? Okay, so I did double icing on the back one and it actually stayed nice. You guys are like, don't take it apart. I'm gonna double icing this one too. I think it needs to like, like you can't do a, a bare edge on it because I don't think it sticks. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah. My icing is probably a little warm because it's been sitting in the bag too. So I think I need to do that next year with the powdered sugar or the current corn syrup. You'll have to send that to me. I'm gonna have to like screenshot it for a year. Okay, there we go. Watch this, you guys, watch this. This shows me, this tells you I'm a professional, watch. Oh. Thank you very much, thank you very much. Okay, so here we go. It's getting hot in here. Okay, so I did the overhead thing. It seems to be working better. I hope you guys are getting something done while you're watching me. <laughs> Ooh, what a waste of time. Okay. That last one, I just overlapped them. Okay. Everything changed, you're all I need, underneath the tree. Favorite song ever. Nice. How's it look from that side? That was fast, hey? I overhung it. And I think putting the icing on each piece, because those other ones, I was just doing the icing on one. You definitely have to do the icing on two. Let me see here. 
to for them to get together. You know what I'm saying? For them to stick. And then I'll show you guys. What a mess. I'm not going to clean up. Okay. Okay, two seconds. Okay, can't take it. I can't take it. Oh, sorry, I'm wiggling you guys. I think we're gonna move over and, and uh, okay, so we're done. I did, I'll have to show you guys, so I'll, when I get up here in a second, I'll show you all of my chicken coops laid out. I got all my candy into the bowls. And so I think as these start to dry, you guys are like, Heather, stop it. Just leave it alone. I can't help it. I can't help it. That last one looked good? Yes. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. Put a glass up against them. Oh, okay, so here is, so for those of you who just joined me, here is the chicken coop. And it's going to kind of look like this when they decorate it. I don't know. There's a chicken coop. And then all those barns. I did 13 chicken coops and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven barns. And so the barns are gonna look like this. And so the chicken coop game with chickens and then the barn, I'll show you guys here. I'm gonna take one out so you guys can see it. I don't wanna touch that knife, it's like. <coughs> I thought I had scissors somewhere, maybe I don't. Here we go. I don't want to break it because if I break some of these barn animals, here we go. Well, they don't want me to come out. There we go. So it comes with, look how cute this is. So it comes with a little pig. It comes with a sheep and a cow. Isn't that adorable? <laughs> look at that pig. He's so stinking cute. And then it comes with, um, so black icing. And, uh, and then it also comes with these. So they're like little, like, it looks like lights, you know, like you would decorate your house. Isn't that cute? And then it comes with a bag of icing that I really didn't like. It was just so clumpy and stuff that it just didn't work. Um, I got my Christmas tree up and my candy canes on it. I got all that. I'll have to show you guys. Before we go, I'll have to uh, give you guys a little tour. Yeah, it's going to be so fun. Oh my goodness. So you guys will probably see that on Monday. Um, tomorrow you'll see my grocery haul for the gingerbread houses. And then me and Joshy did like a, me and Joshy day. We didn't video everything. Like we videoed like little parts, but we didn't video all day. So I have to share that with you guys still. Um, and then, uh, then of course our gingerbread contest, we're going to have our cake, our cookie decorating contest. And then we're going to have a game night where I have all these games planned. It's going to be so fun. We were actually going to do them over Thanksgiving when Giddy was here, but we were just like so tired because we're just on the go. And right now it's raining and officially the snow's gone. It's official. The snow is gone. We're supposed to get a little snow tonight, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, before I go, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to take you for a little tour and show you how everything turned out. Okay, I think there's a way to turn this. Let me see. Here we go. Okay. So here is the houses. This one is really struggling. That's the one that I actually had the extra piece. Like, I don't know what to do with it. So I, I don't know. So here is the houses. And then this is all the stuff it came with. And now let me come over here. Oh, here, I'll show you. Here's the Christmas tree all done up. Isn't that nice? And I had to wrap presents till 1.30 yesterday because, um, 1.30 in the morning, because we have two more people going to be doing presents. And look at this. You guys haven't seen this yet, but this is the cocoa bar that I surprised Noah with. So I found this basket and this at TJ Maxx Home Goods and these. And then I also got these. So I just used this to put like different kinds of cocoa in. And then these are um, hot chocolate candy canes and these are mint hot chocolate candy canes. Um, these are by Hershey and these, I don't know what who's either by. And so I just put the cocoa in there 
And then down below, I got um, two kinds of cocoa. So I had actually bought cocoa when I went to um, a store and I didn't realize that it was for K-Cups. So I had to literally empty them all out. And so I got marshmallows. This is those, these are the marshmallow and hot cocoa chips by Nestle. Holy cow, you guys. I, I can't even tell you how good these are. They're absolutely amazing. So that's to put into the cocoa. And then here are the different kinds of spoons. So I have caramel, milk chocolate, dark chocolate mint, and then peppermint. And so I wasn't really sure what to do, but they didn't come in individual packages. They came just in a box. And so I'm like, well, I don't want to just set that into my basket. And so I actually found this basket at TJ Maxx, and then I just wrote chocolate spoons. And then down here, um, I got a whole box of these 24 for $19, and they're the Cocoa Bombs. And I'm telling you guys, these are normally $3 a piece everywhere I go. So I put those in the basket. And then these are the mints. I thought they were bigger. I don't know if you guys, years ago, we used to get a sleeve of Thin Mints and they in a box, and they were bigger, but these aren't. But Noah's loving them, though. He's been sticking them in his cocoa. And then Izzy. So I told you guys that I knew that Izzy would love these. And so this is... It's a little cup, and you can put cocoa in it, or you can put it in the cocoa. So Izzy, she didn't realize, she like just noticed these. So she comes up to me yesterday, and she's like, Mom, what is this? And I said, it's, it's a peppermint cup. I know, but do I put it in my cocoa? Do I put my cocoa in it and drink it? What do I do? I said, honey, you can actually do whatever you want. She's like, oh my goodness, I love these so much. So these I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and a quarter. Um, and so I think I'm going to go grab more because I knew that she would love them. I knew. And so they just put cocoa bombs there. And so, yeah, it's super cute. Yeah. And so this basket, I think I paid $10 for. The stand, I believe, was 50 And then these baskets here were just like, I think 10 maybe. I'm not really sure. And I want to stick with the whole canning theme. So I surprised Noah. He came home. And, of course, he's made cocoa every single day. I know. Isn't that cup super cute? And then I'm going to come over here. Just don't mind my dirty kitchen. So here is all of the chicken coops. This one doesn't have a walkway, so I'm gonna have to figure that out. Let me turn this down a little bit so I can talk here. Um, so yeah, so here's the chicken coops, and then this is the mix Izzy made last yesterday. She put it in that big container, and um, this is all we have left. So we've gone through it a ton. We took some to the youth group, and then, so this is kind of everything that I have found that you'll see the the video on, but I got Junior Mints and Dots. I found these super cute things. Look at how cute those are at Walmart. And then I also found, okay, we'll just put that to the side. Then I also found these, you know how you put these on cakes, super cute. I got chocolate covered um, stars and then icings. And I try to pick up like bigger sprinkles to make it easier to put it onto the gingerbread things. And then this is what came with the chicken coop, two little chickens. And then I have um, Spree in here. And let me tell you guys something. So do you see these? These are the toasty vanilla M&Ms. Holy cow. I have never had an M&M as good as this. You have to go get these. You have to. They are amazing. Amazing. Um, so I picked up some of these. These are those hot cocoa and marshmallow chips. Please, they are amazing. And then these I got at the Big High V. These are so good. We put them in Izzy's mix. You guys, these juju things, amazing. And then I got some like little drops. And let's see what we got in there. Rolos in there. I don't know. I'm a little close. And then I found the spice drops. And then these, you can put it in the gooey stuff in the middle. But I thought the kids might like to use it for trees. I have Mike and Ike. and So, yeah, here's everything. And then more icing. Oh, and I found these at... Look at it. Found these at Target. Double chocolate, sea salt, caramel, pumpkin, and peppermint. And then look at this, you guys. So my friend, she knows that I love chickens because I have chickens. Look at this. They were crocheted, and she got me three of them. Look at How cute is that, you guys? Please, there's another one. Look at How cute is that? Oh, that's amazing. Yes. Well, let's see. You're a genius. Oh, look at that. It's a mess though, but who cares, right? Yes. 
It's a little long, but I can move the I can move the house back. Wow, you're amazing. Oh my goodness. Okay. You guys are getting sick now because I'm Okay, I'll go slow. You're amazing. Good job. Thank you so much. Yeah, so here it is. And then, so let me tell you guys something. I'm going to turn this camera around and tell you something. Okay, so you guys just seen the video of me sh sharing my Christmas bark with you and the garland. You know, the garland that goes over the um, window, the banisters, and not banisters, um, that goes over the entryways. It fell over and over and over and over and over. And it broke ornaments. I tried and tried. Like, I've been messing with this. I posted that video yesterday. And, and I thought, okay, well, maybe I don't, maybe I need to know the trick. Maybe I didn't tighten it tight enough. And so I thought, well, I'll just post it because it's a really good tip. It's super cute. It, you know, it fell down a couple times, but it's okay. So after editing and putting that video on yesterday, they kept falling again. And I said, okay, this isn't working. So, so the, you know, the part where it says this is super easy. I don't know the tip. I mean, people are doing it all over their houses and they say it's amazing, but I don't know the trick. So, so I, I got mad and I took them down because I was sick of picking them up off the ground and it broke my ornaments. So I took the garland and I put it with the lights and then I put it behind because I got sick of picking it up. So if you do it and you can figure it out, they were beautiful. It went up fast. It was gorgeous. They fell a couple times. I thought, okay, I can deal with that. And then after posting my video, crash, 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 crash. And I'm like, I can't do this no more. Horrible. So, um, so yeah, so now it's decorating. Yeah. And it's actually super cute. See, look, look how cute this is. And so when you turn off the lights, let's turn off the lights because it's overcast. We're going to turn off the lights. Okay. So you guys can see my, how it looks with the lights off. All right. Oh wait, we got to turn one more off. This is like a crazy live. Hey, she's like, she walking around and she's checking things. Okay. So here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So see, I mean, you can't really see because I have so much going on, but I mean, it's really pretty, hey? Even though my cabinets are content, are constantly like, yeah, I mean, see how pretty that is? Just put some screws up. Well, I was trying to keep from doing that. Let's go look at my tree now that it's dark. So how pretty that is. I get to see that every single night. How beautiful. I'm gonna take you guys into my other room too. It just, it feels so cozy. I feel like I need coffee. So I plugged my other tree in too. And it's absolutely beautiful. I didn't get to do a tour yet of like our decorations, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that. We're waiting for the boys to put their tree up so we can do the tree, tree competition. Isn't that pretty? And look at no snow. No, 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 no snow. There's not going to be any snow up here in the north. And then I did this. Look at my chickens. So I just put that together. Isn't that nice? It's so nice. What about command hooks? You know, I thought about that, but the command hooks have to be like, they have to be rounded. You know what I'm saying? Like they have to, because you know how they just, they're flat and they come up and they hook like this. They'd have to be more rounded so you could set the pole in there. And you can't really go super high with it because your garland hits the, the overhang. So I don't really know. I don't really know. Yeah, my pictures of my barn animals. Okay, you guys. Well, I have to get things cleaned up. I have to go pick it up in an hour. But thank you so much for watching my complete and utter disaster. I'm going to actually take a picture of this yucky one. And I'm going to make it the picture for this live. Watch me put together my barn gingerbread. <laughs> People are going to be like, <laughs> that was quite the, quite the time. So um, we do have a lot going on this weekend. Um, I am going to be doing some baking next week because the big jobs I wanted are done. Like the wrapping, the presents, the shopping, getting this gingerbread contest going. We have our, um, our Christmas party tomorrow. So then it's just like fun. 
like hang out with my kids, watch Christmas shows in with no snow. Um, so I'm thinking I could probably go on live next week. I know I had told you guys last week and then this week, and it just really was a really rough week, just very busy. And I was not feeling good a couple days. And I went to bed at like eight o'clock at night one night. I just was so tired. Um, but I feel good. This is my day two being clean. I've had no coffee, no sugar, nothing. And I think that's why I was up till 1.30 because I am kind of trying to detox my system and I feel really, really good. Um, and then I got to go, you know, down, down state with uh, my friends and do a shopping day. It was so fun. And I think me and my husband are going to do a stocking stuffer haul. Um, I'm probably not going to post that stocking stuffer though until like Chris, like Christmas Eve, because I don't want my kids to see what's in their stockings, but we're going to do like a little overnight in Marquette area, um, where we do all our shopping and then do like stocking stuffers. He's like, so we're going to get to do another one. I said, yeah, let's like stay over and just do stocking stuffers. He's like, okay. <laughs> He's like, what about the kids? I said, what about the kids? Gideon's here. They can hang out with Gideon for one night. <laughs> any, any time we, you know, we, we find any reason to go do overnights and just hang out and have coffee and get dinner and just relax and super funny. But anyway, well, thank you so much for joining me on this live where I made these disaster of a barn. Um, and just thank you for your support. And um, if you haven't like liked and subscribed us, please do. And I'm gonna end it like I normally end my vlogs. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Okay, you guys, see you later. Have a wonderful weekend.